This is the Rock Exotica. I believe it's the Pirate is the, the brand name. And the way this guy works is it's a double locker. So it just takes a little pull back, pull back and a twist, just like that. So a little pull back, you can see the mechanism, pull back and a twist. All of these double locking beaners have different motion. So the Petzl, for instance, you'll push it forward, some of them, and then twist. I would recommend if you're setting up your climbing rig with double locking stuff to get all the same, just because you get used to this motion, pull back, twist, you get used to that and you don't wanna to have to push and twist. I've come to use this Rock Exotica uh, beaner, this Pirate exclusively in all my stuff. I just like it. I think it's got a beefy feel. I like the company, you know, they make climbing devices and other tree specific climbing stuff. And I just like this beaner. It's never stuck on me. Some of these double locking beaners, uh, I can't do it here, but they'll kind of twist a little bit prematurely and they'll get stuck or they won't close. So they'll go real slow and they'll get stuck right there. But this guy, it's got a little crud in there. It could use a cleaning but it's never jammed up on me. So I like their stuff. It's a simple beaner, and I think it's one you can trust. I believe as far as the rating goes, it is 12 kilonewtons this way and 26 this way, which is pretty standard. I feel like almost all uh, beaners are pretty much in that range. Uh, six kilonewtons against the gate this way to keep it from busting open, which, you know, if you look up kilonewtons, I think that is almost a thousand pounds, something like that. So I'm not worried about the gate popping open. You can see that it's a little bit offset. So when the gate comes back, see that? It's a little bit offset. And I believe that is so that it opens a little bit farther. I'm not too sure, but anyway, it's got a little offset to it.